Moose season is not over yet. On our last trip, I told you guys it was gonna be my last trip, but you know, I like surprising you guys. We're going out for one more last weekend. Today is September 23rd. The season closes September 25th. So we have about two days, two shots, maybe three shots of finding a moose. Headed back to uh, moose camp to go find a moo. Hopefully we see something. And uh, we're really gonna go all out this time. We're gonna be cruising the trails, getting out there on foot. We're gonna be doing some calls. It's still a little bit too early to be doing some rut calls in this area, like I said, but we're just gonna give it a shot. But man, let's go out there and have some fun. One thing is that the weather is still, still too hot. I checked the weather for Moose Camp and I think the high is like 55 and nighttime is like 35, which is hot. That's hot weather for a moose. So hopefully we get some rain, hopefully we get some nasty moose weather, which is what they like. So let's go find a bull moose. Four thirty p.m. Just made it to Moose Camp. Uh, saw two grouse. Didn't want to take those guys. And then I saw one hunter, one group of hunter with a bull. So they got a bull here. We're back at the same place. It's been super dry now. Last week was raining like crazy. Now it's all dry. But I'm just glad to see that a bull has been harvested. I don't know where they harvest it, but it's around this area, approximately, at least within 50 miles range. So I'm just happy to see that. Uh, congrats to those guys. So I'm gonna go do my quick rounds real quick and I'll go ahead and report back. But right now it's kinda, you know, it's not super hot. It's just cloudy. Hopefully we see something. I'm so excited, man. Every day there's a new opportunity. Even though last week and the last few weeks was down, bad, this week is a whole different ball game. Anything can happen. Current time is 5.25 p.m. We got about two and a half hours of daylight left. I haven't seen any critters yet. There's definitely a lot of pressure as far as hunters because this is the last week. Lots of the leaves have fallen, so it's easier to look through the woods now. We're not being blocked by all the leaves like it was about three weeks ago. I love the smell of it. it. Smells like sour fall season. Current time is 6.40 p.m. I've been cruising the trails here for the last two hours and didn't see much. Didn't see any birds, didn't see any moose, nothing at all. Um, like I said, it's kind of warm right now. It's Mosquitoes are flying around here, bugs are flying around. So it's gonna get dark here soon, next hour and a half, so. I'm gonna take a quick 15 minute break in this section and then we're gonna roam back to base camp. Super, super quiet here. Not that much, really. Hopefully there's a better chance of seeing something tomorrow morning. So, fingers crossed. This owl just flew right above my head and he was so, so quiet. <coughs> That's so awesome. Wow. I think that's a mouse or something. That is freaking amazing. This is the first time I've ever encountered this. <coughs> Sorry for the shakiness. The owl is about maybe 50 to 40 yards away from me. <coughs> that is freaking awesome. Look at those 
भाई Why is he taking out the guts? He must not want the guts. <coughs> wow. Oh, it's eating the whole thing. Wow. That's f amazing. It removed the guts and ate the whole body. amazing Seven thirty-seven p.m. <coughs> Getting late right now. I just heard a cow call <coughs> Heard a cow calling about maybe 100 200 yards this way But it's most likely another hunter I grunt back at him and cow call again so most likely it's a hunter here we are hunters just calling each other <laughs> usually I can tell when it's a human calling versus an actual cow an actual cow has a very very high pitch it's a very high pitch and it's almost very hard to do it with human um, we human we can do the cow calls and the moose will the bulls will fall for it But a real cow call, you can actually, if you heard it before in the wild, it's really whining. It's really, really whining when their cows are doing it. And, uh, yeah, the one I heard now is most likely a human. Current time is 8 p.m.-ish. We're gonna go ahead and cook some late night dinner and just call it a night. Spoke with a few other hunters and they seen some uh, moose that has gone out this year. So that's a good sign. They also seen some cows and calves. So I must have not be seeing them. But that's a good sign guys. So today's lunch, I brought simple stuff. I didn't want to do cup noodles no more. Ramen noodles is pretty bad for you. So we're gonna start eating all these mountain houses today. Tonight's dinner is Mexican style adobe rice and chicken. Some beef jerky. Mm -hmm. Hawaiian roll. These are leftover Hawaiian roll from my last week and I have two rolls left so we'll just go ahead and finish it up. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and eat this mountain house. I often don't eat these right here, but they are good. I ate them once and they are good. Correction, uh, remove the oxygen absorber, add one and a half cups of water, stir, close it, wait five minutes, stir again, reseal, let stand for about four minutes, eat it. Damn, it smells good, Mexican style. You guys can't really see it, but damn, that's a lot. Just reading this package right here, and it says right here, Best by October 2052. We're in the year 2023. This thing is good till 2052. Somebody do the math. That's pretty, pretty amazing. This is what you want if you're a prepper. Mmm, mountain house. Some delicious food. I'm not sure how much I should add, but... I put one of those water bottles, those water bottles are 16 ounce, but <coughs> add the hot water, stir it. <coughs> I remember the first time I ate these mount house, I added water and I just closed it up. I didn't stir. You got to stir it so the water can get to the bottom and such. It's crazy during the hunting season. <coughs> if you go to your local Wally World. Um, you go to the section where they sell this stuff, the mountain house, most of the time they're always out. So, if you guys are doing these trips, make sure you buy ahead of the season. Pre-game, alright? 
Okay, so we start it up. Let's go ahead and wait five minutes. Current time is 8.25. Wait five minutes and then open it back up, start again. So let's go ahead and talk a little bit, uh, recap about this year. So this year, moose season has been a great year. It's been a great year because I... Um, I was able to help my buddy Jimmy harvest his bull. We went ahead and split that bull half. So, in in uh, a lot of hunters, depending on how they do it and depending on their friendship or relationship, uh, whenever we go hunt together, we always split it between everybody. So, if it was just me and Jimmy, we split it in half. It was if it was four of us, we split it four ways. It was if it's ten of us, we split it ten ways. So this year, we um, Jimmy's bull, we split it half, and then you know he was able to give some to his friends, whatever his friend, his relative. I was able to get some to my friend, uh, my, my family, my mom, my dad, my in laws, and such. So. Um, it's, it, it was a great year, even though I have not harvested a bull yet, or if I don't harvest a bull this year, it's totally fine, guys. I'm telling you guys, it's totally fine because I'm still very thankful that we got a bull moose already. The reason why I still want to come out here is because this is a once-in-a-year thing, you know. This doesn't happen all year. Moose season is like literally 25 days only out of the month. Some places, 20 days, depending on which union you're in. So when I have the time... Um, I try to make the time and come out here as much as possible because your chance of getting a moose is better out in the woods versus sitting on your couch on Facebook or looking through other forums and seeing what other people are doing. So that's the reason why I decided to come out. Last week when I came out, I was supposed to stay longer and really I didn't see anything for the first couple of days and then I went home and one of the biggest reasons why was... I had my land, I, ha I had that land cruiser that I had to fix up. I didn't, I figured, I, I figured, I was like, man, let me just go home and start working on that land cruiser. And I started working on it and I was able to knock it out pretty fast. Um, right now, it's pretty much done. The RTV on the oil pan is carrying at the time right now. So by the time I get back from this trip, I can just add oil coolant and get it started up and make sure it's good to go. So I got, I got that project done and I was like, I told my wife, hey, I'm going to go out for the last couple of days because in the next two days, the season is over. So my wife's like, yeah, go for it. So that's why we're here now. And a lot of people also ask me, "New, you go out there solo, man. You should be careful. You know, if something happens, don't worry, guys. Um, before this season started, I bought a inReach, a Garmin inReach SOS, you know, text message satellite phone. <clears throat> so this whole season, I had an inReach with me. Last week after that trip, I canceled my plans, so I didn't bring the inReach. This I didn't bring it on this trip, but it's totally fine. This trip here is 99% safe because I know this area. I know what my limit is, and for the most part, if I need cell service, I can hike to this this section in this area that has cell service, like we're right now. Right now, where this camp spot is, we have cell service. So don't worry too much, guys. I'm totally fine. Um, like I said, not, if anything happens, for the most part, I can pretty much take care of myself unless it's something like crazy unexpected. So let's go ahead and get that cover. All right, now let's go back to dinner. <coughs> let's go ahead and mix this thing up. It's been about three minutes. Mm -mm -mm, smells good. Mexican food. Hopefully this stuff doesn't give me a stomach ache in the morning. You guys all know how my metabolism, metabolism is. It's very strong, and and usually in the morning when I wake up, I try to go to the restroom. I try to do. I try to take care of my number two because I don't want to be. I don't want to start my hunt in the morning and then all of a sudden I'm already hiking and all of a sudden my stomach acts up. I have so much layers on right now, or I will have layers on it. I don't want to, you know, take care of my business. So always take care of your body first before you uh, start your hunt day. So the game plan tomorrow is. It's a new morning, so I came here, I got to this place around afternoon, so I didn't do the morning rush, so I don't know how it was this morning, but it's all good. So tomorrow's game plan is that we're going to go cruise all the trail, most of the trails around here, see if we can find anything. Um, hopefully by early afternoon, we don't see anything, I'm going to start hiking into the woods to some spots that I like, and we'll start doing some calls. I Like I said, I, I think it's still too early because... Um, these moose here, they're not really responding to any calls yet, but who knows there might be a bull out there That's just super active and ready to get his freak on so we'll see what happens. So 
that's the game plan. But again, it's been super dry. It's been super warm, and it hasn't been it hasn't been raining. Last week was raining. This week is dry. Completely different weather. So we'll see what happens. Dinner is ready. I let it cool for a couple minutes. This smells really good. Rice and beans, but man, I think my stomach's gonna not like it tomorrow. Let's just go ahead and eat because this is all we got. Super hot still. Some tortillas will be good right now. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Pretty good. Not bad at all for uh, forest food. I want to tell you guys a story that happened about five years ago. So about five years ago when I had my first Land Cruiser. If you guys are OG, you guys remember the silver one. My brother and I, we came out here to hunt. And... While we were hunting on the trail, we saw a couple birds. We saw a couple birds, so I shut off my Land Cruiser in the middle of the trail. Shut off my Land Cruiser, we went to the woods, um, flushed the birds, shot a few birds. We came back, came back to the Land Cruiser, and I wasn't able to start the Land Cruiser. For some reason, the key was not wanting to turn. The steering wheel wasn't locked. We tried as much thing as possible and I wasn't able to start the Land Cruiser back up. We had the windows down. So we were able to still take shelter, but we had our windows down, so we can't roll them up. Thankfully, thankfully where we park in that trail system, for some reason it just had cell service in that spot. After doing some Googling, some troubleshooting, I was like, dude, this key is probably worn out. I didn't want to jump start it. I don't know how to jump start it back then, hot wire and all that fun stuff. So, uh, <clears throat> doing some research, and I'm like, man, I have a spare key at home, but I don't know if that's going to work as well. So, long story short, I ended up taking... I ended up calling my wife and I'm like, hey, search for the title, search for the registration, take it to the dealership and have them make me a key because they can do that as long as they have your VIN number. And I had a, had my wife do that along with I had to take a photo of my ID and message my wife and my wife had to show the dealership that, hey, this guy does have it. And I actually called the dealership and I'm like, hey, I'm stuck in the woods. My Land Cruiser is keys not working <clears throat> here's my id here's my registration i need you guys to make me a key so they made me a key and my other brother who was in town he had to drive all the way out here three hour three or three and a half hour drive just to deliver that key so we slept in the vehicle for one night we ended up putting a tarp on top of our vehicle so that you know it can at least act as a window the next day, my brother got here, put in the key, kaboom, it worked. So moral of the story, if you guys are going off-roading on any kind of trip, I don't care if you have an off-road rig, a regular car, a motorcycle, ATV, side-by-side, -side, boat, anything that requires a key, from now on, I highly, highly recommend you guys carry at least a spare. Even two spare would be better. So from there on, I always carry two keys. Like right now, I have my key that I have my that I use, and I have an extra one. Ten years ago, when I did my motorcycle trip from Alaska to California and back, I actually knew about that. I actually brought a spare key, and on my way back, when I was in Canada, I actually ended up. Um, <clears throat> when I was in Canada, I was gassing up <clears throat> on my CBR 600. You have to use the key to unlock the fuel lid. And when I was pulling the key out, I actually broke it. And thankfully, I had a spare. So, always have a spare whenever you're doing any of these trips. Any trip that you're far away from home, then you never know what's going to happen. So, that's a little story I want to give you guys. Uh, 
and make sure that key works. Test it out before you, you know, get on the woods or hit the road with it. Man, it's getting dark super fast. Sun sets around 8 p.m. already. So, I'm just go ahead. Man, this is really good. I just, this is good. Let's go ahead and eat some bread with it. I, when I don't have rice, or I got rice here, but when I don't have Asian rice, steamed rice, I just eat bread. Mmm. Good, good. My bread tortita. This is a lot of food too, guys. This You can probably feed two people with this right here. I probably won't be able to finish this whole thing right here. Mm. So, I'm not going to show you guys the rest of this. I'm just going to go ahead and enjoy my lunch. I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. You guys have a good night. See you at tomorrow. Wake up at 7. Make sure sun rises at around 7.30ish. We'll wake up around 630 Rise and shine, everyone. Second day before closing, it's 5 11 a.m. It's completely pitch black, but I'm gonna start the day early. I'm gonna run the trails during this time with all my LED lights on, and we'll see if we can try to catch a big bull slipping around the trail here. It's gonna be about an hour cruise, so by the time we're done with one of the loop here, um, we should start getting the first light, so let's go ahead and start the day. Fingers crossed. It's a bit chilly, but I think that's just because I didn't have no heat. I didn't bring my Mr. Buddy heater, and this whole night when I was sleeping, I didn't start my vehicle, so it's nice and cool in here. But now it's kind of chilly. <sighs> Still completely pitch black, just to show you guys. That's why you gotta have LEDs. Hopefully we can catch a black bear slipping around here. Don't be afraid of the dark or else don't come out here guys. It's pitch black out here. Kinda spooky but nothing crazy. Current time is 7. 7.15 a.m. Uh, we got a little bit more light now see behind me a little bit more light I can see about maybe 25 yards into the wilderness but that's about it can't really see too much yet but um, light should be coming up fast so keep on rolling haven't seen anything yet still got lots of hope guys lots of hope Very super thick, uh, thick bush, narrow trail. So, I'm getting a new pinch strip paint job right now. Current time is 8:25. <coughs> Haven't seen any critters, but I did see two sets of moose prints, and they're they were right on the trail. They look pretty fresh. So that's a good sign guys. The moose are here. I'm just not seeing them or I'm not meeting them at the right time, but that gives me some hope. The tricky part is I don't know where they went and I don't know if it's a cow or a bull, you know. It looked pretty big, but it could be a cow print. Could be a bull print, who knows? So I'm always looking on the ground. Oh, there's some prints right here too. See that? Yep, I see some prints. Oh yeah, check it out, see? Let me show you guys. So you can see right here, those are some tracks. Tracks right here. Oh, look at that, see? That's nice. That's a nice track. So it was heading this way. One. Where's the other one? So one, two, 
I don't see the other tracks. So this trail here is pretty fresh or it's pretty, uh, it hasn't been, nobody has been through this trail system yet because all this mud is old. And these tracks right here, they look like they're a couple, they're definitely not fresh, but they're old now. So it's heading that way, but that's weird. There's only two sets. Where's the other prints? All right, let's go check it out. It's going the way we're heading. Current time is 9 a.m. right now. I got to this area here, and we're just gonna wait here for a bit, do some cow calls, and let's see if we can hear anything. We saw a bunch of moose prints, but they all look to be old. I would say at least maybe a couple days old, so I doubt the moose is still in there around the area here. We don't know if it's a bull or cow, but there's at least activity around here. And I love this area. This area is very thick. Um, it's very thick, and this is the ideal spot for big bulls to be hanging out at. And uh, this area here, this area here, past couple years, there's been some big bulls taken around here. So I know there's some big monster, not monster bulls, but the big ones, they like to hide in these thick, thick bushes and trees. But it's very thick. It's very thick. We're at sea level. So I have no vantage point. This is the highest I can see right here. About a mile and a half down this trail, last night I heard a cow calling, but I told you guys it was most likely another hunter. <laughs> but this area here, <coughs> not a lot of people come down this area, so it's nice and peaceful for the moose if there's any. <laughs> Um, up over this ridge here, there's some swamps, some swamp and marshland. If I was to guess, I would say about maybe half a mile. So I think I might do a quick hike down this way and uh, see if I can get to a swampland, see if there's any activity down there. But that's what it looks like on the Onyx map. So I haven't gone down that side yet. So I might do that. But this go up a little bit and then this forest and then about say half a mile roughly there's this big swamp down there and uh you know you would think the moose like to hang around those area but sometimes you just don't see them it's a very nice cool morning not too cold not too hot but beautiful clear skies a little bit of clouds Lots of birds chirping, so that's good. I haven't seen any grouse yet, so no grouse this morning. <clears throat> Made it to one of the marsh fill. This is what it looks like, guys. <coughs> Dead black spruce. Oh, marshland. I don't know what's beyond here, but I might try to find a way to go through this and see if there's an open view over there. This is not fun stuff to get your vehicle stuck in. Super gushy, look at that. I like this area. It's marshland. 
has a lot of thick coverage for the big bulls. I'm gonna do some calling here. I forgot to bring my plastic jug to uh, scrap the trees and stuff, but I think we'll be fine. Let's go and keep on going. Make sure I don't lose track. <clears throat> this is a nice area. My first time being out here, at least in this area. I have my GPS on me so I can get my way back but if you don't have your if you're not familiar with your area you can get lost really quick out here I can't see nothing <laughs> too thick right here I can't even see what's in front of me unless a bull comes through so let's keep on going up I want to see what's ahead of there I looked on the maps and we're in the marsh valley right now so this is pretty much what the marsh looks like but I want to see if we can clear the trees and see if there's any like open and clear view and maybe there's a bull moose out there doing something in the water let's keep on going we got boots on so we'll stay dry Man, this is gorgeous out here. There's uh, ATV tracks, but it looks like it hasn't been used for a while. Maybe this whole year nobody has been out here. This place looks very promising, but I don't know if there's gonna be any bulls out here. It's still too thick, can't see nothing. Just gonna hang out for a bit and then if we don't get any calls or any hear anything, we'll just head back to the base camp. Super peaceful out here though. In the marsh. It's crazy how these trees are able to grow here. It's so marshy and such, but it must have a good foundation for it. It's 
so thick out here, guys. Heading back to base camp. Didn't hear any moose activity, so we're gonna move on to the next location. <clears throat> I like this place, but there's no activities here. Didn't get to film it, but I got my first grouse for the trip. Uh, flushed her and she went up to the trees, almost about 50 feet up. Took me two shots and got it right on the butt right here, on the leg. So, first grouse for the day. Thank you, birdie. Eleven thirty a.m. Haven't seen anything yet. Except for that one grouse we just harvested. <coughs> Sun is up, super sunny, clear blue skies. If I was a moose, I'd go sleep right now, so. We're gonna take this time and relax for a little bit. I've been up since five, driving all day, so. I don't feel like cooking anything yet. I'm not that hungry, so I'm just snacking on some small stuff. Get some sugar, caffeine in me. No time to sleep during the day and no time to be at camp, guys. You won't find moose. You need to be on the trails. You need to be on the woods. Saw a few other hunters and they didn't get nothing much, so... I don't know if they're going home or not, but... Was it? 24 hours, so... 24... 36 hours-ish. Maybe 40 hours till closing. <coughs> so we have a day and a half till closing. And then we're gonna wait till next year, so... Tomorrow's the last day for moose season, unless you got a special permit. I think next year I'm gonna try to apply for a... They have different permits, so they have all kinds of permits. or well, not all kinds, but they have different unit and different zone. They do have permits where you can shoot like one antlerless, uh, one antlerless moose, which is basically a cow tag. And then there's areas where you can just shoot one bull so any bull it doesn't have it doesn't need as long as it's a bull it's legal it doesn't you don't the antlers doesn't matter anymore so I might draw for that those cost money you gotta pay for every, every draw you want to put in so um, but it's nice to just try it out and see what happens maybe put like 50 bucks into it whenever it's time to rest my truck I like to now pop my hood open and yeah, just helps the engine cool down faster you know just help it ventilate so that's just something that I like to do now. Pop my hood open, let it cool down, and usually it cools down a little bit faster. So here's a quick look inside the jungle. You can only see about maybe a good 75 yards in, and then after that, you have to go in deep. And calling right now ain't doing much because, like I say, these moose right here in this area here, they don't really start rutting until like really the end of September. And by that time, the season's already closed. So super thick, lots of trees, lots of fallen trees, 
thick bushes, tall grass. Really rough terrain to hike, but it's doable. Right now it's high afternoon right now, so taking this time to gas up. Land Cruiser is half tank right now. This is a 15 gallon jug. <coughs> and that's how I do it, I siphon it out. Siphon it from here to here. And we'll go ahead and cook some lunch. Super warm day, super sunny, clear sky, blue skies. Prop the hood open again, let the engine cool down. Oh, I, I missed the other bird. So the last bird we saw, um, couldn't get a shot on it, flew away and then just went camel on me. Couldn't find it no more. So we still got one grouse only. It's all good. Today's lunch is special mountain house, chicken and dumpling. We did a uh, Mexican rice yesterday, last night. So tonight, today. So this type of hunting is by far one of the most mentally boring because you're just driving, 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 looking for moose. But it's a very peaceful, therapeutic, therapeutic, therapy, whatever you want to call it. It's very therapeutic and it's very peaceful and it's, I enjoy it because I'm doing it with my Land Cruiser. Now if I was doing this type of hunting with a Lao ATV, a side-by-side, -side, that's not so comfortable. I might be in, yeah, I might want to call it quits, but I'm sitting in my Land Cruiser. It's like a little Cadillac, all nice and cushioned. I got a warm heater. I'm covered from the snow, rain, if it rains, anything like that. It requires a lot of patience. And I have patience when it comes to hunting. So we're gonna stay till tomorrow. Tomorrow is the last day. Tomorrow's the last day for the moose season, and then we have to wait another 340 days you know until season to open again but that gives us time to prep <laughs> so make sure you throw that packet away don't eat this this is a uh, moisture absorber chicken and dumpling with vegetable fried dry even though moose season is coming to an end tomorrow <coughs> um, a lot of other game are still open you know black bears open year-round grizzly bears open year-round in this unit um, grouse is grouse season is open till March, but I think I as far as why I do another trip, I don't think I'm gonna be doing any more trips um, coming out here. If we do anything, it's just gonna be like our other type of video, winter camping or some off road rate rate off road related video. But as far as hunting goes, I think this will probably be my last trip because this place here um, it has a very low count of grouse, so even if even when moose season is over, I don't know if I want to make another trip out here dedicated just for grouse. Um, the only reason why I might want to come back out here is to harvest some wood, um, cut some of these uh, beetle kill spruce trees, um, so I can have wood for the sun, for the winter time. Because our new house here, we have a chimney now, so that's the only reason why I would come out. And if I was to do that, I would bring my tundra, my chainsaw, and such and such. But I'm gonna try to find some wood closer more locally because i don't want to make a four hour trip out here just to get some wood but we'll see what happens guys no promises i'm full of surprise i think i added too much water but it's all good so we'll let that simmer we'll let that um hang out for about five minutes and then we'll go ahead and stir it up and then let it cool down and eat it but that's pretty much it man lunch is pretty basic i ran out of bread so i don't have any bread anything like that but we got beef jerky um that right there some chips water some a couple pop drinks and that's about it I got some canned food, but I don't want to eat my canned food because every time I eat canned food, it's just... Yeah. I always pack enough food in case I need to stay out here because let's say my car break down or whatever. Well, guys, I apologize in advance, man. There's nothing too interesting for this video here. This is what moose camping is. You know, it's just a pretty much a waiting game. You know, some place has more action. This place just really chill, man. Sometimes you see things, sometimes you don't see anything. You know, I can go into the woods and start faking that I see a moose, but I'm not like that. So, it's a pretty chill trip. This is how it is. I still have some good hopes that we may see something tomorrow or this evening. You know, we saw some tracks. <clears throat> we saw one bull that went out yesterday. Uh, spoke with the hunter, and one of the hunters said he's seen two gut piles, so... 
you know that gives me some hopes and he said he's seen some cows and calves which gives me some hope too as long as there's some moose activity in this area that makes me happy as a hunter i'm just trying to see where the heck are all the wolves and all the bears man because i want to do some predator control too but it is what it is out here you know you can't control nature nature do whatever she wants when she wants Whew, hot good what is this again this is chicken dumpling i believe mmm you guys can see man the sun's right behind our eyes right now full sunshine right now i'm sure it's 60 degrees right now or 55 plus degrees but if i was a moose like i said i'd be bedded down i don't think there's any moose activity right now so i may take a quick nap if i don't take a quick nap we'll just go back and hit the trail system and see what happens my last beef jerky <laughs> I bought two packs, but I left one at home because my uh, my boy Lincoln he likes eating these too. So, save one for him. Mm, mm, mm. It's peaceful out here, man. People ask me why. <laughs> why do I do? Why do I always do these solo trips by myself? And sometimes, um, growing up, I've always done things solo. If you guys knew me back from 2010, I've always done things solo. <clears throat> All my motorcycle trips, I always done it solo, you know. I don't like waiting on people. Um, I just do it. If nobody wants to do it with me, I'm going to do it myself. So, this is how I am. I don't mind doing things with other people. But, when it comes to, like, moose trips, um, something like this that I'm familiar with, like the area, I'm, I'm okay with it doing by myself. I heard that this year in sewer... <clears throat> the salmon run is really good right now the silvers so i'll check back with the silvers when i get home and see how they are doing if, if, if they're doing good we might do a quick suicide run to sewer do some snagging but as far as fishing i'm pretty much done with fishing for the year i didn't get to fish as much as i wanted i think i did like two trips to russians one i didn't even do kenai this year yet man i feel so bad i love doing kenai but i didn't get to do kenai this year I got too busy with all my Toyota projects, man. Too much Toyota projects. But even though we didn't do Kenai, we had a great time at Russian. Russian, Russian River was amazing this year. And also dip netting. Dip netting wasn't... I didn't limit out this year for dip netting, but I had a great time. I didn't want to bring my big old six gallon water jug. So I just used one of my kids' one gallon milk and filled up with tap water. Because last time we didn't even use any of the water. And that's just water for like washing hand, cleaning and stuff like that. So I think one gallon will last me another day. So it's all good. There's a little creek nearby so I can always wash up if I need to do anything. I stopped by there early and just kind of washed the truck a little bit. Washed some of the mud off the, um, off the uh, rock sliders and stuff like that. So I don't get dirty when I climb up and down. Simplicity, man. Just bring these. Maybe next time when I do these trip, I'll just bring like two of these guys. Super simple, super light. When I'm done, I can just empty it. Current time is 5.30. I took an hour nap and then just woke up about 30 minutes ago. So I'm gonna take this time to clean the grouse. I got two grouse, one earlier. So two grouse, I'm just gonna pluck them a little bit and then gut them up um, just so they don't get stinky. This is my second one. She's a bit smaller. This one's my first one. I plucked a little bit of it when uh, I first got her, so there's a few left, but they're all they're all hard right now. <clears throat> yeah, it's really hard, and uh, it's really I should have I should have plucked it right away when I got it, but I was busy looking for moose, so didn't get to do that. So sh I showed you guys how to do this on the other video already, but so pluck it open and then. Uh, Chop the head off, chop the feet off, and then cut the rear end, and then pull out all the intestines so so it don't get stinky. Ah. <sighs> 
<sighs> very tiring right now because it's so sunny and it's just warm the sun's on your face so that's why i had to go take a nap just driving for eight plus hours today when you're driving all slow and steady and just nice warm weather right at your face you get so drowsy so beautiful birds hopefully i can get at least two more birds tomorrow if i can get at least two more birds um, that'd be like four birds that'd be just perfect for a soup soup dish last week the two birds that i got i made a soup dish with them and two of them was perfect for me and my wife so if i can get maybe four or five that'd be plenty for my wife and i my mom and dad i can call them over and they can come eat some grouse too so maybe two more birds tomorrow and then we should be good don't want to get too many i don't need too many Grouse is usually best when you eat it fresh too, so I don't want to store them away. Plus, lots of cleaning too. So the more birds you get, the more cleaning you got to do. Yeah, when you get your grouse, if you guys have time, man, pluck them right away. When the uh, when the body is still warm and easy, it's easier to pluck them. Once they get stiff, it's a bit hard now. It's so sad that I haven't seen a single moose in this area this year i'm just very sad about that i just want to see at least one moose and like i say it can just be a cow other hunters say they've seen moose but that's just crazy how i haven't i haven't seen a single moose this year i've been to this area at least four times this year it's very rare how that has happened every time Years ago, oh, every other year, every other year when I come out here, I always see at least a... Well, I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of them and then uh, we'll get back to moose hunting, guys. I'm not gonna show you guys the whole ordeal here. It's 40 p.m. I'm debating if I want to stay for the last day. Tomorrow's the last day, the 25th. You know, we haven't seen much activity. I'm sure tomorrow has new opportunity. But you know, maybe we'll save that bull for next year, save it for someone else. Maybe we'll just call that a wrap for 2023. We had a great year, man. It's still a great year so far with the harvest from my buddy's Jimmy's bowl. So I'm considering going home so I can get other stuff done at home. Go home and get that Land Cruiser going. And, uh, hang out with my kids for the next couple days. So I'm just gonna run down this trail. I make a few phone calls to my wife. And I'll uh, see what she wants to do. Current time is 8 p.m. I call the wife. The wife said I should just stay the night, so we're gonna stay the night till tomorrow morning. There's a couple other hunters on the other side of the this valley here. I think they're making their way out. I haven't seen nothing yet, man. It's just super quiet right now. It's gonna get dark in the next 30 minutes, so we might run some LED lights and do a little quick night shift. We'll see what happens. Super peaceful, super calm, no winds, super quiet. You can hear if there's any bull moose out in there 
rutting or scrubbing their antlers. I can hear them, but right now there's nothing. Rise and shine, today is the last day for moose season. 5 a.m. guys. 4.52 a.m. just got done doing my morning routine, brush my face, or brush my teeth, brush my tooth, brush my face, wash my face. We're gonna go do a late, we're gonna, we're gonna go do an early morning scan. We're gonna turn on the LEDs, run the trails real quick with the, in the nighttime, see if there's any moose picking the bushes during the nighttime or the morning time. Uh, by the time we're done with half of this loop here, the sun, uh, the, the sun should start rising. And then we're gonna see if there's anything. We're gonna do a quick morning rush, uh, morning run only. And then if we don't see anything by maybe 10 a.m., I think I'm just gonna head on home. But I have a good feeling we might see something. So fingers crossed. Let's go. Nothing much to show you guys. It's all pitch black right now. So if we see anything, I'll film it. So last day, moose season 2023. Let's do this. Current time is 7.20 a.m. You can see behind me just starting to get light up. I can see about maybe 30 yards out. That's pretty much it, but still a little bit too dim. Don't hear anything. Haven't seen anything yet. So we're just gonna do this last loop and then after that, call it a year. Come back next year. Hopefully this winter is not too bad. Hopefully the moose don't have a hard, harsh winter. Like I said, this year and last year and last year before, we got so much snow and I think a lot of moose died from that. A lot of the calves died from that. So hopefully this winter will be more forgiving. It's a very, very calm morning. Fresh morning air, smells good. <sighs> nice and crisp. Some of the water puddles are starting to freeze up just, just on the top layer. So I think by next week, um, the frosty chills will be here for sure. Definitely late this year. I think that's gonna conclude our 2023 hunting season, moose season here. Didn't see anything this morning. It's really frosty this morning. Like I said, a lot of a lot of the water froze up. It's much more colder than the last couple nights. But even with that, no moose came out to play today. So with that being said, I'm gonna start headed back home. We have about a three hour drive back home and uh maybe we'll see something on the way out of here but if not i'll see you guys next year next season thanks for watching bye bye mm -hmm.